This is Cooter Bob Williams. Cooter Bob, Cooter Bob. Yeehaw! Deer porn. Cooter Bob Williams in for Rod and Glide. Well, he's still out trying to get himself a deer, but I'm pretty sure he's just about done. So he'll be back for our next gear review back into the studio. Today we're gonna go over the Shure SM58. It is one of the finest microphones ever made. And it, once again, just like the MXLs, is less than $100. My favorite thing about this microphone, and Rod and I are constantly getting into a feud over this, is that it's two microphones in one. We got an SM58 right here, and bam, I take this little strand off right here, and an SM57 right here. So SM58 to SM57. I don't care what you say, Rod, you can turn this thing into an SM57 by taking that little thing off right there. Now, this microphone sounds fantastic on vocals, live vocals, studio vocals. There's been hit records recorded on these. Michael Jackson, some of his big records, he recorded the lead vocal with a 58. And the Kings of Lawn, those hillbillies from down Tennessee, they did the last record that fellow that sing with them, that follow here or whatever the heck his name is. He did all the lead vocals with an SM58. It goes to show you, you don't need a $10,000 microphone to record a hit lead vocal. They sound incredible. In the studio, live, they sound fantastic on a snare drum. You can put an incredible amount of gain into these things and they don't click. You scream, you holler, you kick, you snare, you crash, you do anything. These things got like a built-in LA two-way inside there somewhere. I don't know how they fit all that circuitry in there, but they just do not clip. They take an incredible amount of gain. These are one of the finest microphones. The SM58 is a standard. If you don't have one, go out and get you one today. Shure SM58.